Is that fresh cut? Yeah, I just made it. Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yeah. Well, it is. Get undressed on camera? I can't be doing that. People yeah. are even laughing at me. Mm hmm. Well, we decided to do coffee chat this morning because it is a balmy 25 outside. And yeah, we haven't had breakfast yet. We've just been piddle paddling around. We still have chickens. Mm -hmm. They're just not fully developed. And they're going to be breakfast. Yeah, they are. Mm hmm. So, oh. We have been such busy beavers since we got home. Uh, I'm throwing together just a master, well, I hope it's a masterpiece of uh, video for y'all that you'll be seeing today on our main channel, White Rock Homestead. And my handsome man here has been uh, retrieving logs from Tilted K. Still not done with that. So uh, I'm gonna make some breakfast, y'all. I'm starving. Yeah, that's gonna be my project today, y'all, is, um I, we didn't film any of it yesterday because one it was just a crummy weather kind of day um not great really for filming and we got a little bit of a delay yesterday on the start where I, we had gotten up at a decent time and was like all right let's go and do this and then a little warning went off on on the phone and said hey somebody's got a dentist appointment <laughs> Me. and so we said, okay, well, we've got to wait because with the kids working, like there was no other extra vehicle. So I didn't want to. Try not to drop some on, on your head. I ah. appreciate that. I can crack a pan instead of crack a whip. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, it ended up being a late start. We went all the way in there, though, and talk about frustration, y'all. We get to the dentist office. And all this computer technology is supposed to make everything faster, more efficient. and But it takes the human element out of things. And yeah, we get there and they're like, oh, well, our computers didn't receive your verification or confirmation, confirmation of appointment. So they went ahead and put somebody else in the time slot. So she had to reschedule the appointment. And I'm like, guys, right here's the text message for my confirmation. Yeah. And it was the one time that I actually told Jason, you know, don't wait on me. Just go ahead and go run your errands, do your things, and then come back and pick me up. The one time. So yeah, that, normally because like, I don't like the dentist, y'all. I don't even like going in the building, let alone seeing the dentist. And, <laughs> and so I'm like, you go have fun. Like I can sit here in the truck, charge my phone, watch videos, you know, productive things. Instead of sitting in a waiting room staring at other people staring at their phone. And so, yeah, that kind of set us back a little bit timeline wise. But I, I was able to get over and I got two loads of logs. Um, Eric already had the the first load ready to go, strapped down, um, and showed me a lot of the progress and work that he's been making uh, um, over at their place at Tilted K Homestead. Um, yeah, we. We love the progress and we, you know, they're super appreciative of being able to use blue. And I, I was just glad to have blue not sit here yeah. collecting rust and dust. So I don't have any homemade bread because I haven't been home long enough. So we're going to eat up the rest of this. I'd say I'm going to Wendy's. What, how do I? Um, but yeah, so we, I still got to the last load that came in at dark. So I've actually got to go out after breakfast and unload the trailer the mm -hmm. nice thing with that deck over is i can take my cant hook and just roll the logs off the side where i want them at and then pull the trailer back so mm -hmm. i've got one more load today of logs and then i can go back as soon as that's unloaded and get blue back y'all as i am so ready to get back on the youtube studio build and that's going to take us milling lumber. And so to get Blue back here, I'm so excited. Yeah. Because I am I love editing for y'all. I really do. But Big Booty Judy can't sit for that long. I'm ready to work. Well, and we've, we've gotten footage, like she said, uh, you guys should be seeing it on the main channel today. Mm -hmm. Will be like a summary review. Kind of a flash of all the stuff that we did over there. 
Um, some of it's not going to have full details because those... They're beans. Yeah, we, we're, we're not bean spellers. We're letting Mel take care of all the bean spelling. <laughs> and, um, but it's, it's, we're super excited for it. And uh, I tried to keep the, the review footage down since y'all have already watched those videos, but it's still a part of our journey. So I took little tidbits of each and we're throwing it in there with tons of new stuff too. Different places we visited. Y'all get to see a lot, so yeah. She's threatening me with all these kitchen tools. I don't know if I like it. Well, it's coffee pot number two for me today. Oh, see, there we go. Well, I was up at 4.30, so. That's gross. Yeah, and I was back to editing by five. Yeah, while someone else was just snoozing. It was dark. It's not like I could have went outside to do anything. Why not sleep? Well, I woke you up this morning. Yeah, so Char Charlie has been a hot mess since we got home, y'all. Yeah. And he, uh, this morning I woke up to her hollering at Charlie because there was a huge crash of glass breaking on the floor. And yeah. I'm like, what in the world was that? You know, because it didn't sound, you know, I mean, we've got drinking mugs up there, but they're like mason jar ones. So, I mean, you really got to put some effort into it. Well, she had her wine glass sitting up on the island here, and Charlie has just been, he's been out of control. Uh, yeah, he's um, so angry at us for being gone, apparently. And he came up and did the whole, oh, okay, bloop. Whack and doodle. And whacked it right off the island. And I have one wine glass. <laughs> And one wine glass. Well, I had two, but the other one I think got broken when we were still up at the river before we even moved to Arkansas. And I don't want to. I didn't want to go buy anymore because I know that I have a whole box of some that were gifted to us from one of my best friends uh, back home, Deb. And I didn't want to go out and buy another wine glass. So I have one sacred wine glass, and Charlie filled it in his power this morning to whoop boom yeah so yeah shadow everywhere yeah it's just been kind of one thing after another with him the last few days you know which we knew we were gone for two weeks and you know the kids would come check on the animals and that kind of stuff but they weren't spending any significant time as to where the cats are used to us at least in the evenings you know once it's dark or we're done working for the day of being able to hang out with us, you know, get get their attention, that kind of stuff. So for them to go two weeks without that direct everyday attention, you know, but they didn't I like it too bad. Get Cal, I mean, Callie's not as bad. She's still, but then we discovered the last couple of days, guys. There's one, if not two, stray cats that are running around the property right now. So, which I'm not mad about because. Yeah, hopefully they're getting mice because we're sure not putting food out for them. But our cats have noticed them through the glass and through the windows. And They'll come up to the window and mess with Callie and Charlie and ours just go nuts. And they just think it's the funniest thing ever. Yeah. But, I mean, I'll, I'll put food out for them. I mean, I have no problems having outside kitties too. Keep the mouse population down. Well, but if you feed them, that's where I said we're not putting food out for them. Because if you feed them, then they'll quit becoming mousers. They become mousers out of instinct and hunger, so uh, I don't need 17 cats coming in the neighborhood because all of a sudden we're putting cat food outside. That ain't happening. Okay, um, well you might have a point there. And, but yeah, it's just, oh, it, it almost still feels, even though we've been home for a few days, like we're still trying to catch our breath. And, um, you know, a lot of it is, is Mama obviously being on the computer, trying to get these videos out for you guys. And I think there's still going to be two more videos of our work with David. Um, he should have, we were actually just talking to him this morning. He should have one coming out, the first one coming out today on his main channel there, Come On Homesteading. And, um, and then the second one coming out, I think, later in the week. So... Uh, obviously we can't put videos out before he does because that's just rude and inconsiderate and that's not the kind of people we are nope nope I even thought about it for a minute could I be rude no nope, we can't do it so we're gonna try to pop these videos out for you guys 
uh, because I miss our projects and I miss you know uh, being able to throw out new stuff for y'all and uh, we're just so glad to be home we we loved our yeah. time but yeah yeah so it's... what do we got planned for today you're going over to Tilted K's. Yep, I got to go to Tilted K's after breakfast and get another, the last load of logs. And then I'll get them dropped off. And I'm going to go back and get blue, get blue back here. Because honestly, that's, I mean, we could have, we could have built the rabbit hutches maybe in the last couple days too. But our big focus right now um, is the YouTube studio. Mm hmm um, I do have to get the rabbit, another rabbit hutch built because we do have that other buck uh, that is still in the dog kennel, but he's safe and secure and has what he needs, so it's he's not you know totally miserable. Um, but then we need to get the other kits that Chrissy had out of her rabbit hutch and get them in their own so we can finish growing them out and she can have some room to breathe before we rebreed her. Um, I think next week sometime, mm -hmm. Janet should be having her kits hopefully. Mm -hmm. And so we'll be getting ready and prep for that. But uh, yeah, the big part guys really was, we needed to get Blue back here because I need Blue to load the logs on the mill. And then, you know, we can get milling videos out to you guys. I know, Quite a few on the main channel and talked about wanting to see some milling videos. So, and I'm ready to get back on the mill, uh, but I've got to have blue to move all them logs over there and get the wood away and that kind of stuff. So that's, that's going to be our focus. And now with some of the upgrades that we've got, you know, behind the scenes, we, we need the studio. Oh, and, this looks delicious, y'all. And I am going to be, uh, yeah, you can go ahead and eat while I talk. That way you're not talking with food in your mouth. Just saying. But, yeah. Uh, so, Don't so tell me today uh, I have to deal with this. Hold on. <sighs> yeah, this. I got to deal with these. So, I'm going to hard boil some. I am going to double egg some, and I'm also going to be making some lasagna noodles because uh, everyone's been wanting lasagna. And I also have to deal with four gallons of milk in the fridge. I'm going to try my hand at mozzarella, so I'm going to go ahead and video some of that. I don't know what I'm doing uh, with the mozzarella anyway, the rest I do. And see about getting you guys some content on this channel of highly requested cooking stuff so uh yeah i got a lot of eggs and this we haven't even collected yet this morning so i'm really mm -hmm. excited about that <coughs> um we'll get some breakfast i'll get that other video out and then i think that will do if i can get these done and then we really want to set ourselves up for this next week to start pumping out some real good work here on the ridge. That's what we're gonna do. So we are gonna cut this right here. We are gonna eat our breakfast. We're gonna get busy. I've got some greenhouse stuff I gotta do yet today. And we need to get these videos out for y'all. So we appreciate the huge bump that y'all have given us uh, at the Coffee Chat for the Chickens channel. I'm tossing around adding the a la carte after the title. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you're here just for coffee chat, that's awesome. We love you for that. But if you didn't know we had our main channel, White Rock Homestead, go check that out. And we're just we're just having fun with this, y'all. It's just gonna be one of those things where we can just throw up anything and and not really worry about what it does. And yeah, in these videos, it, our talk parts, right, the vlog parts, are probably minimally edited I would say like yeah. maybe there's a little bit of a touch here and there but they're basically a shoot and go mm -hmm. um, and then of course her her cooking stuff and that will be edited yeah, yeah. videos but yeah it's it's gonna be as it comes out our mouth and as breakfast is served and we decide to eat we all are gonna get it yeah and it we love it too because it gives you guys a glimpse into our lives and it's not just stuff you see on the main channel you're getting to know us just a little bit more even in our day-to-day -day lives so uh, we welcome you back anytime 
and don't forget to click like and subscribe and share it out. I mean, we don't know where this channel is going to go. Uh, you guys get to decide where this channel is going to go. So thank you all for being here and peace out from the ridge. Later.